Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder guys. So today I was planning on doing a video with the FJ-4B and it's Bullpup Air to Ground Guided Missiles. Unfortunately for PlayStation that is not an option. They are completely bugged out. I cannot physically control the direction of these missiles. It will not work. So the way these missiles work is exactly the same as on the Rakuten Jagdpanzer. So if I switch to the one that I mean, I'll show you. So go all the way down here on the, the side, and it is this one. So these ones on PC is WASD, same as the ballpup missiles. That's what you will use to control where the ballpups go. This on PlayStation, we used the left directional um, analog stick. That is the one that controls movement for the tank. When you fire a missile, you lose control over your movement, but you gain control over the missiles. That should be what happens on the plane. Unfortunately, when I try it, it doesn't work. So I'm going to show you what happens with the Rakuten Jagdpanzer. Okay then guys, so here we are on the test range. As you can see, my event bar is still buggered. I still haven't fixed it, but that's neither here nor there. So, left analog stick, forward, back, right, left. Okay, that works fine. Go into the missile view, zoom in. We'll go for this T10 straight away. I'm actually going to aim it over here slightly and then guide the missile over. So you can see me doing it with, again, the left analog stick. So we aim it there, fire, and there you go. This is how the ballpup missiles should work. And that was a good hit, got him. He's not going anywhere. Driver and track are out. This one should be a kill shot, if I can hit it in the right place. Well, you get the gist of it. That's how the ballpups should work. Wherever you decide to sort of direct your um, analog stick, WASD on PC is where they should theoretically end up. That's not the way that they work on um, PlayStation at the moment. Let me kill this T64. There you go. So you can see they work. They do work. So I'll return to the hangar and show you the the FJ4B. Okay then guys, so here we are. I'm on the runway, ready to go. I'm not going to take off though, not yet. I just want to show you something. I'm going to fire one missile and then right after I'm going to fire a second one. And I want you to see what happens when I try to move it using the left analog stick, PC's equivalent of WASD. So we fire one, directly fire another one and hold down the fire button. So this is the touchpad. This gives me movement over the view as you can see i'm tracking the other one i'm gonna face head on to it like this before it runs out and then this is the analog stick <laughs> i can't control it wait for this to reset and i'll do it again so i'm gonna fire one and this you can hear that that's the analog stick <laughs> it I won't actually aim it i cannot physically do anything with it it just flies off into the distance which in a way is kind of funny that they can't even get something as simple as that working considering they've got it working on the Rakuten Jagdpanzer and the STA RV um, 81 for the British which is the Centurion with the three missiles on the side that works at the same principle you use the analog stick to control where the missiles go but if they can get it to work on a tank why the hell can they not get it to work on a plane? So I'm going to take off and I'm going to get a bit of altitude and then I'll pick up with you guys again and show you how I'm having to use these. <laughs> okay then guys, so I've flown just over um, four and a half miles away and just climbed up to 5,000 as you can see, so or under 5,000. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually aim a missile like you would do, like a rocket and then sort of try and control it towards this. I'm going to just aim it like this. Just generally aim it like this so you can see it. So let me just line the camera up. 
this is using the D, um, the pad. Look at this, look. <laughs> I can't use it, it's gonna go right over. Again, I'm gonna dip the nose, I'm gonna fire ahead of it. Chat flaps, flaps raised. There you go, look. <laughs> and again, that's using, that's using this one. See, this is the directional one. And it, it won't work, it will not work. So you have to use them like dumb rockets. So you're flying with SPAA, shooting at you left, right and centre. You line up a missile and let it go. And miss. And miss. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Why? Why could it not be modelled? Why can something so simple not be modelled properly for PlayStation? I don't understand. Gaijin, why? I've waited so long to get my hand on this and I can't even use it. I can't. Look, I'm going to miss again. <laughs> it might have killed it, but it was not a direct hit. It was not what I wanted. Well then, guys, as you can see, the control system for the ballpup missiles is absolutely screwed. Actually, no, it's not. It's not screwed up. I retract that statement. You have to have a control system in place first to screw it up. The control system for the ballpark missiles is non-existent. <laughs> it, you can't control them. It, there is non-existent controls for the ballpups. So that's a pain in the ass. I've been really looking forward to doing this video. You know, ever since they announced this plane with these missiles, I've been really looking forward to it because I knew I'd get some really, really cool footage. And I golded my way to the fucking missiles as well. And it wasn't cheap, you know? It wasn't cheap. And I'm kind of sorry about that because now I've got it and I've got the ball pups unlocked. I can't use them. And it's disappointing. You know, this is a big multiplayer, multi-platform game. And we have two different consoles on this now. And after four and a half years, you think they'd actually put some emphasis in making sure this shit works in a development office. You know, there's got to be someone sat there with a PlayStation at test this. Obviously, that hasn't happened for this one. They've let that one slip because you can't use these with a console or on a controller, I should say, because the control system isn't in place to do it. I mean, how hard is it to transfer the WASD control to the analog stick? They've done it for the Racket and Jagdpanzer. They've done it for the STRV81 for the British. So why the hell can they not do it for the FJ-4B and its um, ballpup missiles? It just makes me a little bit worried about the future of Warfinder, in particular update um, 1.81. How the hell are helicopters and their ATGM missiles going to work on console if they can't even sort this out? I mean, what? You're going to sit there four miles away from the battlefield you're going to fire a missile everyone's going to be like uh oh i can hear something coming everyone's scrambling for cover who's it going to hit who's it going to hit straight over the heads of everyone and off into the distance because you can't control it or is it going to fly over and you're watching your missile dipping up and down left and right and the next thing you know bang you've crashed into the ground because it's also controlling your helicopter as well at Gamescon, they showed no footage with the console playing the helicopters. And what I remember from the April Fool's event, I didn't take part in it, but my friend um, Phage did. And also a few other PlayStation guys I know. And they said the control system was absolutely terrible. It was even terrible for PC, which they have revi um, revised it and refined it for PC. But that doesn't bode well for console because we never see anything about that so i'm kind of on the fence about this do i buy a pack when it comes out or do i not i'm going to really have to take these into a test flight these helicopters and give them a real fucking working over before i even consider yes or no because i'm not spending hard earned money on a hind helicopter if I can't fucking control it and its missiles. What is the point? What is the actual point of buying it? It's just going to be a waste of money. 
So guys, with that said and done, hopefully in a few days they will have this fixed and I will be able to come back and play this out and get some decent footage with it. But until then, I'm stuck with a useless plane with dumb rockets, effectively. So I'm going to wrap the video up, guys. If you're new to the channel and you have enjoyed today's video, even though it has been shit because I can't use the damn plane, <laughs> please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification, guys, for updates on future content. Also, a thumbs up is appreciated. It really helps the channel out. And until next time, guys, I will see you soon and have fun.